Hey, what's going on? Today I want to talk about the X-T5. Why it's an amazing camera and why I sent it back. Okay, so I picked up the X-T5. It's uh, Fujifilm's new um, camera, so probably you probably know. Uh, it's incredible. It's incredible. It's uh, super fast, it feels good in the hands. It's very functional. It's got a fantastic tilt screen, vertical and horizontal use. Uh, the autofocus is fantastic. Uh, some people, you know, they compare it to Sony and that. Sony's got a, Sony's his own beast. But as far as autofocus compared to other Fuji cameras goes, before this one came out, it, it reigns supreme. It's much better, it's fast. Uh, the, the picture quality is insane good very sharp you can crop the piss out of it because of the 40 megapixels if you want if that's what you do the rendering is fantastic everything it's probably the best camera i've ever used uh, a couple things i don't like about it was um the little the pasm dial the over here i was always moving it like I'd be in single shot, which 99.9% .9 of the time I'm in single shot. And the next thing I know, I'm, I'm throwing 11 frames a second out. Mm -hmm. Just trying to take one picture because I bumped the dial. It, it moves way too freaking easy. Another thing I didn't like, it was too good. Let me explain. We, we're all different, okay? Every one of us has different things we look at look for in a camera and we all have different styles of how we shoot some people like to let the camera do most of the work some people like to you know just hold the button down and let it rip and then pull something good out of out of the mess of pictures that they just took. I took this camera, I shoot from my church, I took this camera to a, f a function, testing it out, you know, it's like my second or third day I had the camera. And here's what was going on. It automatically finds people. So you got the square moving around, finding people. And it's like, well, I don't want that person, I want this person. And so I'm trying to, I'm fighting with the camera to select this person. So then I had to change it to single, single point focusing so I can just, to my point. I'm on the street and there's so many people, it's going to be all over the place. Do it with the tracking and, and whatever you have. And I had to go back to single and put it where I want or, or, or put it, keep it in the center and focus and recompose like I've always done. And that's my point. I don't need that camera. If I want to take away all the new features because it's working against me because of my style, then I don't need it. So it's, it's so important when you guys, when you're, when you're buying a new camera, do you really need the camera? Is it going to do something different than what your current camera is doing? And if it is going to do something different, do you need it to do those different things? And it really clicked. When I was there, I was like, you know what? I, I'm, I'm taking away features to make it work for me. The what, because first of all, I like to be in control. I don't want the camera to do anything. I just needed to take a picture. I, that's why I've never done, like, I've never messed with, like, setting up buttons and, and I, I need the camera, I need to be able to make it, control the shutter speed, the aperture, the ISO, and click the shutter button. I don't need to do anything else. I don't need it to think for me. I don't need to do anything. I need those four things to take a picture. 
I, I don't like the menu. I don't want to go in the menu system for anything. I don't want to set up quick buttons. I don't need it. It's not necessary. I'm old school, man. And I was even out shooting landscapes. And I'd frame the shot. I'd focus and shoot it. And it all happened in a matter of seconds. I mean, not even seconds. It was like, but it was like, it was just, it was over. The whole experience was just over. I framed it, it freaking had it focused before I even wanted it to, and I shot the button. I barely even pushed it, it was already done. I was like, that's it? And then it dawned on me. This technological advancements that we're making with cameras, just for me, I'm sure there's other people that feel the same way, is it, it's, it's taking the fun out and taking photos. There's no, career, there's no, there's no, I don't know. It's just too easy and boring. And so I'm like, okay, I'm sending it back. I just packed up. The X-T5, I packed up the 56 millimeter 1.2 that just came out. Really nice lens, it's beautiful. But I don't need that either. I'm not a portrait photographer. If I was, if I was an action photographer, you know, if I was doing sports or even portraits, like in studio and stuff, I'd probably kept it. I'm a street and documentary photographer. I like to craft my photos. Honestly, I'm looking at manual lenses. I'm done with the fast paced. I'm done with the easy. I wanna craft it from the exposure to the focus to clicking the shutter. I want everything to be my doing. I don't want the camera to do anything. I don't want it to think for me. I don't want it to make decisions for me. I don't want the AI to try to figure out what I'm thinking. So I'm probably, I was thinking about selling all my autofocus lenses, my Fuji autofocus lenses. I got the 23 F2, the 35 F2, the 16 one four. And then I started thinking, well, you know, I might as well keep them for like client work and stuff where I'm getting paid which really doesn't happen, but I did book a wedding for next year. I don't do weddings, but it's a friend of mine. And I said, bro, I'll do it, but I'm doing it my way. Documentary style, black and white. Flying me to Florida on a, and, and it's going to be on a cruise ship. Sounds like a pretty good time, but I'm doing it my way. I'm not doing it. You can hire somebody else. I don't give a crap. I don't care if I do it or not. You know what I mean? I don't do weddings anymore. But if I'm going to do a wedding, I'm going to do it the way I want to do it. And he loves my work, so he said, yeah. Documentary sounds great. Perfect. Anyway, I'm going to hold on to them. Because I got a lot invested in them, and they're great lenses. And sometimes I may, and I can, yeah, I can manual focus with those, but they're focused by wire, and it's just like, it, there's nothing intuitive about it, right? So I'm looking at Voigtlander. With, with the like the focus tabs, it's a shorts row. It's like, you know, you can do zone focusing and it's technically it's range focusing guys. Zone focusing, it's technically range focusing when you set a distance and then everything from like say three yards to infinity is going to be in focus. That's, that's a range focusing. And somebody started calling it uh, zone focusing, which kind of fits, but it kind of took off and everybody, now everybody calls it zone focusing, but the range focusing is done with range finder cameras and they focus by range. Just, just a little education there, but call what you want. They both really work, but technically it's range. Anyway, I'm going to get me some Voigt Linear lenses, maybe some Leica lenses, um, maybe uh, Zeiss but I want small, real manual focus lenses. Lenses, when you focus, when you're focusing, 
It moves glass. It's not by wire. It's the real deal. And I'm gonna go out there and I wanna craft my images. And I'm keeping my X-Pro2. And it's a fantastic camera. There's no reason to upgrade. I was waiting for the X-Pro4 to come out and it hasn't come out yet. And to be honest with you, I don't think I'm gonna get it when it does because it's gonna be exactly the same thing as the X-T5 is. A sensor that's too big for my needs. Autofocus that's too good for my needs. It's, it's too good. Is that a thing? It is for me. It's more than I need. So when you are running into situations where you think you need to upgrade, you think you need the latest and greatest, stop and just think about, do you? What will this camera do that yours doesn't? Honestly, the, one of the only reasons I wanted this camera is because of the flip up screen. I'm not gonna spend two grand on a flip up screen because it's the only thing I, I wanted. So I'm just going to accept the fact that I won't have a flip up screen. I'm probably not going to get the X-Pro4 because it's, it's too much camera. It's more than I need. It's, it's going to be, be, unless they make some significant changes other than the internals. Like if the, I don't know. It's supposed to be like this boutique ultra next level, right? We'll see. Well, I'm probably not going to get it, but don't quote me. And I'm considering maybe in a year or two of getting a, a Leica digital, a true rangefinder camera. But gosh, it's so expensive. But if I do, then I'll have a nice collection of M mount lenses already. So I won't have to buy any lenses. If the M10 can go down in price a little bit, maybe. The 240 is not too bad, but um, it's still a lot of money. It's more money than I, I can spend on the camera right now. I'm not exactly sure what this was all about. Except for the fact that I sent back the X-T5 and the reason why I did. The grass isn't always greener. Sometimes the yard you play on is already the best yard. Later.